Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Amber from Mystic Eyes the Journey and I am back with another channeled message. Today I am channeling for the Twin Flame Collective. I was going to be done with the readings today but the twin energy has shown up in every single one of my readings so far so I don't think I have a choice in the matter. So if you are on the Twin Flame journey or aspire to be, this message is for you. Remember, this is a general message. So if something does not resonate, don't try and make it fit. Leave it to the side and let somebody else pick it up, okay? All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see, twins, what, what needs to be seen, what needs to be said. What does the Twin Flame Journey Collective need to know at this time? I have a feeling we're going to be spending most of our time in tarot here. Ooh. But I do have a couple of Oracle decks off to the side, just in case. Okay, we see the hanged man here. It doesn't want to come out. Something about sacrifice, something about um, maybe standing still, not taking much action. I got the king of wands over there. I'm gonna go grab him off the ground. Okay, thank you kindly. What do we got at the back? We got the death card at the back. Okay, so major transformation, major rebirth. Okay, so an ending, turning into a new beginning. Excuse me, one moment. All right, King of Wands. What else we got? <gasps> Ew, I'm loving this already. So we have the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, wish granted. So something coming in, Six of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. Interesting. We got the sun. We got the seven of swords and the empress card. Okay, so interesting. We do have the divine feminine, the divine masculine showing up in this reading. Obviously, this is a twin flame reading, but it's interesting. We have the divine feminine in the positioning of the empress, right? That's a culmination of all of the queens together in one archetype. And then we have the king of wands. So this is an energy of being creative, being in a position of leadership, being in a position of power and status. So I feel like the masculine at this time is, and remember, you know, this goes beyond biology, right? We're talking about archetypes and energies. You could be female and be in the position of the masculine, vice versa, any variation, okay? We all possess feminine and masculine attributes. So keep an open mind as I'm channeling this energy and align yourself with the piece that makes the most sense, okay? So somebody is stepping into a position of power and authority. And then there's Somebody else, okay, the feminine energy is more eclectic, moving in and out of different positions. This is an energy of fruit, uh, fertility. So those of you that are looking to co-create in a very physical way with children, um, this is a promising energy to see in a reading. But if this is more metaphysical, or metaphorical, I do feel like whoever the feminine energy is in a very powerful position of creativity and something is about to be birthed. Birthed behind the scenes, I'm hearing. Right? One is forward facing. The other is, is doing a lot of work behind the scenes. So I feel like there's a rebirth underway. Something, some sort of a painful ending that is now culminating into this rebirth, right? We see death in front of the Hierophant and then we see the sun rising in on the horizon okay and here we have the sun card the 
something creative coming to fruition. The sun is fifth house energy, heart space energy. And this is something that you've wished for. I'm getting with the Six of Pentacles, like not having to worry about money anymore. That material needs are being taken care of. Now, what's interesting is we have the Seven of Swords here. And the other day I was playing around with the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords used to be the card that every time it would show up in a reading for me, I'm like, oh no, oh my God, Seven Swords, so sneaky. It's so like somebody's gonna steal something. And I guess that is a way that it can be read. Um, but lately the way that it's been channeled for me is get in and get out. Get in, get what you need, and then get out. So I feel like there's a plan here. There's a plan here. Get in and get out. Get what you need and get out. Okay, hold on. It's also an energy that's strategic. And that's kind of what I was picking up on before. Like there's, there's one that is front facing. You know the saying like behind every great man is a great woman or behind every great woman is a great man. And please like the, the twin flame journey transcends like biology and, and physical manifestations of masculine and feminine, okay? So it doesn't have to be heteronormative connections. I hope I, I've made that clear. Um, but that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that there's one that is forward facing that everybody sees, but there's one that is behind the scenes that is birthing this wish fulfillment into reality. I gotta go into the Seven of Swords though. There's something like, getting in and getting out what does that mean the moon so we have the sun and the moon okay but i feel like the moon here is like being unseen and that this is really important the king of pentacles I feel like whatever it is, whatever this is, it may be require a level of secrecy, not telling people about what you're doing behind the scenes, letting people think. So for example, right, maybe you're getting money or starting a business or something and there's a forward facing business. Maybe the both of you work and allowing people to think that this particular, right, the masculine is the one that's bringing in all of the money when in reality, it's the feminine behind the scenes who's creating it. I just saw the three of swords at the back. Which is a heartbreak, a difficult truth. The world card, the Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So a completion, the beginning of a new cycle, that's the death card. An ending into a new beginning, a new cycle is beginning. And this cycle is full of abundance, emotional abundance, but also physical abundance with the King of Pentacles and the Empress and the Six of Pentacles. This is like having it all, but not letting people know that you have it all. Why? <laughs> Why? Right, this is like having the sun, but making people think that you have the moon. Is this like evil eye energy, protection energy maybe? Whoa. 
What's that? The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, oh boy. Five, yeah, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles fell on the ground as I was talking about like having it all but pretending that you don't have it all. Having the sun but pretending you have the moon. Pretending that like, oh yeah, like, you know. It's almost like pretending that things aren't really good when they really are with the Seven of Swords. And I asked Spirit, why? Why would you have to do that? Because I'm not a fan of living in illusion or projecting illusion. But the reason why is the Five of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. There's a competitive energy here. Not within the twins, but with whatever is going on. 11-11. Yeah, this is like avoiding competition. Interesting. All right, I'm going to go into the career and life oracle deck. We do have the lovers on the table. Not surprising with the Twin Flame reading, right? Of course we have the lovers. But this is a choice to climb some sort of a mountain, right? There's a mountain with a really pointed peak. So we do feel like there's some kind of a mission. That requires a lot of work. And I'm hearing like moving on up, but evil eye energy. So getting in and getting out so that there's no competition. Some of you are taking on like a, a business venture I'm picking up on. Okay. So we have on the table, time to put your demands on the table and get serious about what you want. Ask for a raise, a promotion, or a step up. I feel like your manifestation abilities are going to be really heightened at this time. So getting clear about what it is that you want is going to be very important. Spirit is saying be as broad and specific. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? getting specific about what it is that you want, but allowing yourself to be broad enough to allow that to come in and materialize in any way that it, it wants to, or whatever the easiest route to that is. And you may be surprised at what that route is. The energy that I've consistently been channeling in the three readings I did before this is being surprised at how something shows up. Taking steps. Action is key to getting where you need to go. You can't wait around. Take a step in any direction to get unstuck and find opportunities. And then we have make it work. You have all the tools you need to succeed, but you have to put in the effort. You excel with work at, you excel at working with your hands and fixing problems. I'm hearing taking any action at all even if it's the littlest step in any direction, is gonna get the wheel turning. You have all the tools you need to succeed. What 
else for the prunes. Ooh. All right, we got a contract here. The Sixth Chakra, Archangel Metatron, Third Eye. The Healer of the Ages. It's a solar plexus energy, action energy. Having the power in your hands, right? Wasn't there one that said you excel at working with your hands? Look at his hands here. The power in the solar plexus being manifested through the hands. So something you do with your hands. And the temple path, which is the spiritual path. Hmm. So something about vision, being able to see something that isn't there yet. Attachment. All right, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull one card from each of these decks for the masculine energy and one for the feminine here. And we'll just see what comes through. Okay. I'm going to put the feminine on the left, masculine on the right for tarot. Look at this. Again, the feminine is the knight of cups. And the nine of cups. I mean, you're, you're watching me shuffle right now. Okay. The masculine energy, please. So something that the feminine has been manifesting is about to come through and to come into fruition. The masculine energy now, like this ace of pentacles wants to come out too, but we have the eight of pentacles, just putting your head down and doing the work, right? One is getting, is making the wishes and manifesting and bringing things into reality while one does the work. Or is working diligently, mastering some kind of a craft, Virgo energy, day-to-day -day working away. And we have the hanged man that's just sitting in the top here with the knight of swords. That quick movement. Fast movement into... Oh... I feel like one is freeing. See how the hanged man has the rope on his foot and it seems like the knight of swords is rushing in to cut the hanged man down. I feel like one person in this connection has been going out and working <laughs> diligently. And I feel like the other is rescuing them from that, right? The hanged man also talks about feeling stuck, like you can't get forward, that you can't catch a break. Okay, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. One is about to bring in something that that liberates and frees the other all right so we have the feminine energy coming through with victory oh, and the masculine a man holding a heart <laughs> this is so sweet and we got financial constraints at the back oh this is sweet it's like the feminine is going to get some sort of a victory here that liberates and frees the masculine. Takes him out of this eight of pentacles energy and puts him straight into his heart space. 45 is nine or breaks down to the number nine when the sum of four and five are added or when four and five are added. 
which is an ending. And we started with the death card, an ending and a new beginning. And I feel like what's ending is that hanged man energy, feeling like you can't get anywhere or that you have to be doing the same thing every day. I feel like the feminine is, is liberating the masculine from this energy. Again, be open-minded to who's filling what role I'm hearing. All right, one for the feminine, please. There we go. Thank you. One for the masculine. Looking. The back, we have movement, right? Knight of Swords. Movement. Same energy. You'll make good progress now, and you'll be able to overcome any obstacle in your path. Big leaps forward are possible. We have looking. It's okay to look for better work. Be discreet in your search, right? We got that energy of like being discreet or not being obvious about what's happening. You need to be aligned with your life's purpose to be fully satisfied. And I feel like the masculine's life purpose is being the man holding a heart. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh. The romance, it's killing me. Okay. Victory. Nine of cups, and then we have answers. The key. The answer. The divine feminine has the answer. Y'all, I wish I did this from the beginning. <laughs> it was so confusing before. And look at this. Do you see what that says? Love. <laughs> answer is the key. The man holding a heart. This is like the sweetest thing ever. You will you will resolve your current situation soon. <laughs> Victory with the nine of cups. Oh my gosh. Work wise, you'll find unique ways to stand out and find a new opening with job security. That's what this feels like. We kind of picked up in the beginning that there was one that was forward facing, then one working behind the scenes. There's going to be an end to financial constraint. And I feel like the divine feminine is coming through as the knight of swords to free and liberate the masculine. This is awesome. This is beautiful. All right. I think I'm going to leave it there. So um, if you're still with me, thank you. Um, if you wouldn't mind on your way out, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, if you are not already, leave me a comment. If you're looking for personal private readings, that information is in the description box below. And until we meet again, namaste. Thank you, twins.